The greatest soccer player of all time, Pelé, has died at 82. He was a true legend and will go down in history forever. However, there were dark secrets in his biography. He was not only a brilliant athlete, but also just a man with his weaknesses and mistakes. He would like to forget some facts from his life forever. But the shadows from the past always haunted him until his last breath. And today we remember one of the most dramatic moments of his life. Keep watching, this is WOW channel. Before we continue, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for notifications. Let's begin! He was born into a poor family and grew up in a small shack in Brazil. The boy started working from childhood. He shined shoes and was a servant. At the age of 16, Pelé began playing for the Brazil national team, and soon he was hailed as a national hero in his country, and people adored him all over the world. Now Pelé is among the most successful and popular sports figures of the 20th century. His achievements are recognized as a Guinness World Record, and he also was included in the time list of the 100 most important people of the 20th century. But like many outstanding people, he had his weaknesses and dark sides. Pelé had a complex love life, marrying three times, as well as several affairs. He fell in love for the first time in his youth, when he was not yet famous and rich, but the girl's father forbade them from dating. Just imagine how this man regretted his decision when Pelé became successful. After world recognition, the athlete was the most eligible bachelor in the country. Probably almost all fathers in Brazil dreamed that Pelé would choose their daughter. Only at the age of 26, the athlete decided to get married. His bride was an ordinary Brazilian girl, Rosemary Dos Reis Cholby. The coming year they welcomed their first child, Kelly Christina, in January 1967. Edson, their first son, was born in 1970. The couple later moved to the United States and resided in New York City, where they welcomed their third child, Jennifer, a daughter. Soon the marriage began to have problems. They realized that they had nothing in common except for the love of dancing. Moreover, Pelé was rarely at home. He often traveled for work, trained a lot and didn't have time for his family. He later openly admits that he cheated on his wife, and he didn't even try to hide his love affairs. Asked whether it was hard to stay faithful, Pelé replies, In all honesty, it was. I've had a few affairs, some of which resulted in children, but I only learned about them later. In 1981, Pelé began dating TV presenter Shusha. At that moment, the girl was just 17 years old and Pelé was 41. The couple were criticized for their age difference. That's why people were not cool with their relationship. Moreover, citizens thought that the girl dated a sports star because of his fame and money. The following year after the start of this scandalous love affair, Pelé finally broke up with his first wife. The relationship of the legendary soccer player and the young TV presenter lasted seven years. However, over time their love ended. In 1994, Pelé married for the second time. His beloved woman was a psychologist and a gospel singer. Assyria Lemus Sexus, who gave birth to their twins. But besides official relations, Pelé had so many love affairs that he himself didn't remember and even didn't know how many kids he had. It is known that Pelé had at least two illegitimate children, and he didn't want to recognize one of these kids for many years. This is maybe the most dramatic and sad story of his entire personal life. 
Pelé would probably wish that people would never know this fact from his biography. However, the truth is still revealed. In 1964, when Pelé was not yet married, he had a short affair with the housemaid Anitia Machado. For a soccer player, it was a short-term relationship that meant nothing in his life. He soon forgot about the girl. However, she will remember this meeting forever, because it changed her whole life. Anitia soon found out that she was expecting a baby. She had a daughter, Sandra Machado, whom she raised alone. It is known that Pelé didn't take part in the life of the girl and didn't help her mother financially. Anitia always honestly told her daughter who her father was, so when the girl grew up she wanted to meet her biological dad. However, Pelé ignored her and didn't want to recognize her as his daughter. He was so famous that he must have often heard such statements. But Sandra was not going to give up, sued and requested a DNA test. The soccer player refused to hand it over, but then was forced under the pressure. When Sandra was 27, she sued her father in 1991. The dispute lasted five years. As a result, the court concluded that the woman is indeed Pelé's biological daughter. Sandra revealed her difficult experience in the book, the daughter the king didn't want. After that, in 1996, she was allowed to adopt Pelé's surname. The athlete was forced to admit his mistake and began to get closer to his daughter. But it was too late. Sandra passed away in 2006 after a difficult battle with cancer. She never received financial compensation from her father, but she achieved justice and recognition. She was only 42. She had a husband and two children. For Pelé, this was a great tragedy, but he didn't find the strength to attend her funeral. He only sent a wreath to the ceremony, but Sandra's mother didn't allow to be placed close to her daughter's coffin. Her husband, however, insisted that Sandra didn't hold any grudge against her father. He tried to get rid of guilt and helped her children financially. However, until the end of his life, he remembered his daughter, whom he didn't want to recognize for a long time. As you can see, even in the life of the most outstanding and successful people, there are difficult dramas. Pelé was the best on the soccer field, but he made mistakes in his personal life. However, no matter what, people will still remember him as a great person of his time. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to share your thoughts with me, to click like and to subscribe. See you next time.